All right. I should have started a little bit earlier, but I'm still adjusting to the schedule. So I find that helps just to kind of sit back and kind of do my own thing. So uh, I just finished. Oh, hold on one second. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, I'm back. Got about $110 so far for Instacart. I haven't really been trying hard. I just wanted to see if doing a batch here and there is doable, and it's totally doable. And instead of home, I can do some readings if I want to. Um, I was just so freaking tired this morning, so I decided not to do that. But, um, so I ended up doing quite a few readings last night. Um, I think I finished at 27 to 35. So I'm on Psalms 36, so 36 to 45, 44, 36 to 44. Um, is there anything I want to write about, talk about? Not really. Let's just get right into it. Okay, W. Psalms. Thirty six to forty four. Thirty six. All right. <clears throat> Transgression speaks to the wicked one. Deep within his heart, there is no fear of God before his eyes. For in his own eyes, he flatters himself too much to detect and hate his error. The words of his mouth are hurtful and deceptive. He shows no insight for doing what is good. He plots hurtful schemes even on his bed. He is set on a path that is not good. He does not reject what is bad. O Jehovah, your loyal love reaches to the heavens your faithfulness up to the clouds. Your righteousness is like majestic mountains. Your judgments are like vast deep waters. Man and beast you preserve, O Jehovah. How precious your loyal love is, O God. In the shadow of your wings, the, son of me the sons of men take refuge. They drink their fill of the rich bounty of your house, and you cause them to drink of the torrent of your delights. Oh, hold on. Yikes. $40 order, but it's all this. It's a 60 mile round trip. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Uh, with you is the source of life. By your light, we can see light. Oh, and you cause them to drink of the torrent of your eyes. Yeah. So with you is the source of life. By your light, we can see light. Continue showing your loyal love to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Do not let the foot of the haughty tread on me, or the hand of the wicked drive me away. There are wrong uh, there the wrongdoers have fallen. They have been knocked down and cannot get up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I know this is probably terrible, but I like crude humor. I like awful humor. I like dark humor. And I thought of a 9-11 meme with the uh, life alert lady help I've fallen and I can't get up but uh, putting the um, the twin towers on her face instead it's, it's so stupid but I love memes so all right Psalm 37 do not be upset because of evil men or envious of wrongdoers they will quickly wither like grass and shrivel like green new grass oh sorry I have to start back over I left do not be upset because of me evil men or envious of wrongdoers. They will quickly wither like grass and shrivel like green new grass. Beth, trust in Jehovah and do what is good. Reside in the earth and act with faithfulness. Uh, find exquisite delight in Jehovah and he will grant you the desires of your heart.
Uh, Gimel, commit your way to Jehovah. Rely on him and he will act in your behalf. He will make your righteousness shine like daybreak and your justice like the midday sun. Deleth. Keep silent before Jehovah and wait expectantly for him. Do not be upset by the man who succeeds in carrying out his schemes. He. Let go of anger and abandon rage. Do not become upset and turn to doing evil. For evil men will be done away with. But those hoping in Jehovah will possess the earth. Wow. Just a little while longer, and the wicked will be no more. You will look at where they were, uh, and they will not be there. But the meek will possess the earth, and they will find exquisite delight in the abundance of peace. Zion. The wicked man plots against the righteous. He grinds his teeth at him. But Jehovah will laugh at him, for he knows that his day will come. Heth. The wicked draw their swords and bend their bows to bring down the oppressed and the poor. To slaughter those whose way is upright. Uh, but their sword will pierce their own heart. Their bows will be broken. Teth. Better is the little of the righteous one than the abundance of the many wicked ones. For the arms of the wicked one or wicked will be broken, but Jehovah will support the righteous. Yod. Jehovah is aware of what the blameless go through and their inheritance will last forever. They will not be put to shame in the time of disaster. In the time of famine, they will have plenty. Calf. But the wicked will perish. The enemies of Jehovah will vanish like glorious pastures. They will vanish like smoke. Ah, one sec. All right, one second. I'll be back in a minute. I need to pull. I need to grab. Got it. That was annoying the heck out of me. I was trying to pull it out with my fingers, but it was too uh, far in. So, all right. The wicked borrows and does not repay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Dang it! Hold on one second. Ouch. Okay. Lamed. The wicked one borrows and does not pay, but the righteous one is generous in giving. Those blessed by him will possess the earth, but those cursed by him will be done away with. Men. Jehovah guides the steps of a man when he finds pleasure in his way. Although he may fall, he will not be hurled down, for Jehovah supports him by the hand. None. I was once young, and now I am old, but I have not seen anyone righteous abandoned. For his children looking for bread, nor his children looking for bread, he always lends freely, and his children are in line for a blessing. Samek. Turn away from bad and do what is good, and you will remain forever. For Jehovah loves justice and he will not abandon his loyal ones. Ayin. They will always be guarded, but the descendants of the wicked will be done away with. The righteous will possess the earth, and they will live forever on it. P. The mouth of the righteous one imparts wisdom, and his tongue speaks about justice. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps will not falter. Sade. The wicked watches the righteous, seeking to put him to death. But Jehovah will not abandon 
him to the hand of that one, or find him guilty when he is judged. Cough. Hope is Jehovah. Hope in Jehovah and follow his way, and he will exalt you to take possession of the earth. When the wicked are done away with, you will see it. Resh. I have seen the ruthless evil man spreading out like a luxuriant tree in its native soil, but he suddenly passed away and was gone, and I kept searching for him, and he could not be found. Shin, take note of the blameless one, and keep the upright one in sight, for the future of that man will be peaceful, but all the transgressors will be destroyed. The future of wicked people will be cut off. Ta, the salvation of the righteous is from Jehovah. He is their fortress in the time of distress. Jehovah will help them and rescue them. He will rescue them from the wicked and save them, because they take refuge in him. Psalm 38. O Jehovah, do not reprove me in your anger, nor correct me in your wrath, for your arrows have pierced deep into me, and your hand presses down on me. My whole body is sick because of your indignation. There is no peace within my bones because of my sin, for my errors loom over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am distressed and extremely downcast. I walk around sad all day long. There is a burning within me. My whole body is sick. I have grown numb and become completely crushed. My anguished heart makes me groan aloud. O oh, Jehovah, all my desires are before you. Um, Jehovah, all my desires are before you, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength is gone, and the light of my eyes has left me. My friends and my companions avoid me because of my plague, and my close acquaintances keep their distance. Those seeking my life set traps. Those trying to harm me speak of ruin. They mutter deception all day long. But like someone deaf, I would not listen. Like someone speechless, I would not open my mouth. I have become like a man who could not hear, whose mouth has nothing to say in defense. For on you, O Jehovah, I waited, and you answered me, O Jehovah, my God. For I said, may they not gloat over me, or exalt themselves over me if my foot slips. For I was ready to collapse, and my pain was always with me. I confessed my error. I was troubled by my sin. And my enemies are vigorous and mighty. Those hating me for no reason have become numerous. They repaid me with bad for good. They were resisting me for pursuing what is good. Do not abandon me, O Jehovah. O God, do not remain far away from me. Do hurry to help me, O Jehovah, my salvation. Psalm 39. I said, I will guard my step to avoid sinning with my tongue. I will guard my mouth with a muzzle, as long as anyone wicked is in my presence. I was speechless and silent. I kept quiet even about what is good, but my pain was intense. My heart smoldered inside me. As I pondered, the fire kept burning. Then my tongue spoke. O oh Jehovah, help me to know what my end will be like and the measure of my days, so that I may know how short my life is. Indeed, you have made my days just a few, and my lifespan is as nothing before you. Surely every man, though he seems secure, is nothing but a mere breath, Salah. Surely every man walks about like a shadow. He rushes around for nothing. He piles up wealth, not knowing who will enjoy it. What then can I hope for, O Jehovah? You are my only hope. Save me from all my transgressions. Do not let the foolish one make me an object of contempt. I remained speechless. I could not open my mouth. Because this was your doing, remove your plague from me. I am worn down because your hand strikes me. You correct man with punishment for his error. You consume the things he, he treasures just as a moth does. Surely every man is but a mere breath. Salam. Hear my breath, O Jehovah. Listen to my cry for help. Do not ignore my tears, for I am but a foreign resident to you, a traveler passing through like all my forefathers. Turn your harsh gaze away from me so that I may cheer up before I pass away and I am gone.
Psalm 40, I earnestly hoped in Jehovah, and he in inclined his ear to me and heard my cry for, for help. He brought me up out of a roaring pit, out of the slimy mire, and he set my feet upon a crag. He made my footing secure. Then he put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will look in, on and on and put their trust in Jehovah. Happy is the man who trusts in Jehovah and who does not look to the defiant or to those who are false. How many things you have done, O Jehovah my God. Your wonderful, wonderful works and your thoughts toward us, none can compare to you. If I were to try to tell and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but you opened up my ears to hear. You did not ask for burnt offerings and sin offerings. Then I said, look, I have come. Pause. Unpause. Then I said, look, I have come. In the scroll, it is written about me. To do your will, O oh my God, it is my delight. And your law is deep within me. I proclaim the good news of righteousness. Yeah. Um, in the great congregation, look, I do not restrain my lips. O oh Jehovah, as well you know, as you well know. I do not cover over your righteousness in my heart. I declare your faithfulness and salvation. I do not hide your loyal love and your truth in the great congregation. O oh Jehovah, do not withhold your mercy from me. May your loyal love and your truth constantly safeguard me. The calamities surrounding me are too many to count. So many of my errors overwhelm me that I cannot see my way. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head, and I have lost heart. Please be willing, O Jehovah, to save me. O Jehovah, hurry to help me. May all those seeking to take my life be put to shame and disgraced. May those who delight in my calamity retreat in humiliation. May those who are saying to me, Aha, aha, be appalled because of their own shame. But let those seeking you exult and rejoice in you. May those who love your acts of salvation always say, May Jehovah be magnified. But I am helpless and poor. May Jehovah pay attention to me. You are my helper and my rescuer. My God, do not delay. All right, Psalm 41. Happy is anyone who shows consideration to the lowly one. Jehovah will rescue him in the day of calamity. Jehovah will guard him and keep him alive. He will be pronounced happy in the earth. He will never turn him over to the will of his enemies. Jehovah, Jehovah will sustain him on his sickbed. During his sickness, he will completely change his bed. For I said, O Jehovah, show me favor. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. But my enemies speak evil about me. When will he die and his name perish? If one of them if one of them comes to see me, his heart speaks falsely. He gathers something harmful to say. Then he goes out and spreads it abroad. All those who hate me whisper to one another. They are scheming something bad against me. A dreadful thing has overtaken him. Now that he is down, he will not rise again. Even the man at peace with me, one whom I trusted, who was eating my bread, has lifted his heel against me. But you, O Jehovah, show me favor and rise, raise me up, so that I may repay them. By this I will know that you are pleased with me, when my enemy cannot shout and triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me because of my integrity. You will keep me in your presence forever. May Jehovah, the God of Israel, be praised throughout all eternity. Amen and amen. Psalm 42. So this is the book two Psalms, so 42 to 72. So Psalm 42, as a deer that longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I do thirst for God, for the living God. When may I come and appear before God? My tears are my food day and night. All day long people taunt me. Where is your God? These things I remember, and I pour out my soul, for I once walked along with the multitude. I used to walk solemnly before them to the house of God with sounds of rejoicing and thanksgiving, those of a crowd celebrating a festival. Why am I in despair? Why is this turmoil within me? Wait for God, for I will yet praise him as my grand savior. For God I am in despair, for God, or my God, I am in despair, 
That is why I remember you from the land of Jordan and the peaks of Hermon from Mount Mizar. Deep waters call to deep waters at the sound of your waterfalls. All your surging waves have overwhelmed me. By day, Jehovah will grant me his loyal love and by night his song will be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my crag, why have you forgotten me? Why should I walk about sad because of the oppression of my enemy? With murderous hostility, my enemies taunt me. All day long they taunt me. Where is your God? Why am I in despair? Why is this turmoil within me? Wait for God, for I will yet praise him as my grand savior and my God. Psalm 43. Judge me, O God, defend my legal case against a disloyal nation. Rescue me from the man of deception and unrighteousness. For you are my God, my fortress. Why have you cast me off? Why must I walk about sad because of the oppression by my enemy? Send out your light and your truth. May these lead me. May they guide me to your holy mountain and to your grand tabernacle. Then I will come to the altar of God. Uh, to, to God, my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the heart, O God, my God. Why am I in despair? Why is this turmoil within me? Wait for God, for I will yet praise him as my grand Savior and my God. Psalm 44. O God, we have heard with our own ears, our forefathers have recounted to us, the deeds you accomplished in their days, in the days of long ago. With your hand you drove away nations and settled our forefathers there. You crushed nations and drove them out. It was not by their own sword that they took possession of a land, and their own arm did not bring them victory. Rather, it was by your right hand and your arm and the light of your face, for you took pleasure in them. You are my king, O God. Command complete victory for Jacob. Ow. Okay. Uh, by your power, we will drive back our adversaries. In your name, we will trample down those who rise up against us. For I do not trust in my bow, and my sword cannot save me. It was you who saved us from our adversaries, you who humiliated those who hate us. To God, we will offer praise all day long, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Salah. But now you have cast us off and humiliated us, and you do not go out with our armies. You keep making us retreat from our adversary. Those who hate us take whatever they want. You hand us over to be devoured like sheep. You have scattered us among the nations. Something for the peoples to shake their heads at. I feel humiliated all day long, and I am overwhelmed by my shame. On account of the sounds of their taunts and insults, because of our enemy who is taking revenge. All of this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you. And we have not violated your covenant. Our heart has not uh, deviated. Our footsteps do not stray from your path. But you have crushed us where the jackals dwell. You have covered us with deep shadow. If we have forgotten the name of our God, or if we spread our, out our hands in prayer to a foreign God, will not God discover this? He is aware of the secrets of the heart. For your sake, we are being put to death all day long. We have been accounted to sheep as sheep for slaughtering. Rouse yourself. Why do you keep sleeping, O Jehovah? Awake. Do not keep casting us off forever. Why do you hide your face? Why do you forget our affliction and oppres our oppression? For we have been brought uh, down to the dust. Our bodies are pressed to the ground. Rise up as our helper. Rescue us because of your loyal love. Right, and that's the end of AV 58.